Hello, welcome back to LTC Designs. First, I want to send out a major shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments. I just thank you guys for just showing the support. Okay, so today we got a major project. We're going to start doing the coat sandals that everybody's been talking about and they've been sold out, the ones that I like. So me brainstorming, I came up with a creative idea on how to make your own. First thing you will need are a pair of sandals and I will link everything we use today in the description below. These sandals came from Amazon. They price maybe about $20, so that's a major save. You will need a mini arm. You also will need, you can use your regular household arm if you prefer. Um, you're going to need some fingernail polish remover, some clear um, gloss spray paint. You're going to need a pair of scissors and some masking tape from Dollar Tree. The fabric that I ordered is off Amazon. I will link it, like I said before. They come in different sizes and um, different colors. The first color is like a lime green. The second one is a hot, pretty pink. The third one is a uh, burnt orange. And if you do want to use, but I don't prefer it, I think it don't stick as well, you can use the opal vinyls that um, Cricut sells or Amazon may have as well. But I prefer you to use the HTV. Also, this glows in the dark at night. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get rid of the name. The name is throwing you off from it looking even like a authentic Coach Sandals. So, get some nail polish remover, a little napkin or a piece of tissue, and look. Bam. Gone. Let's clean it up a little bit. Do the same with the other one. And I always get some regular rubbing alcohol, too, just to clean up the sandals from, like, grease, grease mark, you know, because our hands are a little oily. Or we do, we create oil. <laughs> Let's okay, so your next part, you want to take your masking tape, and you want to basically mask from this end, from the right end, to the left end and on the sandals if you can see it has like a little groove right there so we're going to be taking a masking tape and we're going to cover the whole sandal and this is going to create a template for your vinyl okay so what you want to do is you want to take the tape, the masking tape, do one line, and make sure you overlap the line that you, you from your first line. So you tape one line, then you tape the, you overlap that with the next line, and you go all the way up. And you want to do that twice, so you have a thick layer for your template. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing you need to do, you want to make sure you tape the side of it because it gives you like an extra layer. Okay, cut the excess off. And this is just the template. So. Okay. After you have everything masked off, you get a pen and you want to trace the out layer. Okay, after you created your template, you want to name the size. The shoe size is a size 7, and I just put 10. Take a pair of scissors, cut off where you traced.
okay welcome back so the next step you want to do you want to go to google and you want to search up coach logo patterning transparent um as you can see it's different type of coach i mean if you feel you know if you want to put that on your sandal feel free but today we're going to do this one right here so i did go ahead and I clicked on it i right clicked it and i end up saving it as image and i downloaded it sometimes it may say it's transparent but not always so to clear the background for that you want to go to yes, remove a background and you want to grab the file that you saved drop it down in there and there you go download that it'll pop up here or if you're on a Mac I don't know how that works you want to save it it'll pop up here once it's save you want to minus out of that go into whatever uh, cutting machine or software that you have for me I'm using Cricut today so you want to go to upload click right here sometimes I like to take this file right here go and see all my downloads minus that out grab the file and just drag it in there bam I always do complex because I don't know it's a habit continue to save and do cut image okay I forgot to mention you will need for this project you will need to have some type of cutter machine currently I am using the Cricut and I did show you how to upload it and once you got to upload it since we are using HTV you want to make sure you mirror your um, image always mirror for your HTV um, and the measurements for this is uh, width at 3.8 height is at 8 okay so I'm going to continue Okay, so this is the out look of it after it's all weeded out with my little weeding tube. And like I said, if, if you don't want to do coach, you can do whatever type of um, patterns that you want to put on your sandals. You can do like I got the Louis Vuitton graffiti. Um, you can do the same thing. You just use the pattern. You just use your template, put it on there. Take it this way. I like the letters going that way. And there you go. Just cut around it. So I got both. I got the left and the right side cut. Okay. Now you can take this tape off because it's just a template. And there you go. See if it fits. See. Okay, so action. So you have everything <laughs> cut out afterwards. <laughs> Excuse me, I have my daughter's messing with me. So you can save this for later when you decide to do another pair. Okay, you want to take your masking tape and tape off the sides. Okay, after I, I taped everything, I um, mask everything off to prevent overspray. I like to wipe this down again because my hands are a little oily or, you know, just to prevent the oils. Okay, guys. So after placing the vinyl on a pull slide, you want to make sure you arm from the middle on out to the left and to the right. From the middle on out. So 
So after you got it all pressed on and ironed and make sure you get the edges because sometimes you don't want to have your sandals on and they come up. So make sure you seal them really well. For this step, you want to make sure you're in a ventilated area. Uh, I'm spraying outside. So you want to use the clear gloss and lightly spray three times, okay? Okay, real light. Let it sit, come back, spray again. Let that sit, come back, spray again. And here are the final results. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys, and also, Here's the effect of the glow in the dark. Cool, right?